Serial to Ethernet Connector is an advanced software solution for sharing serial port devices over TCP IP network. As the result, any serial port device connected to COM port can be accessed from anywhere in the world as if it is attached to your local PC. With Serial to Ethernet Connector, you gain ability to turn your PC into home server with multiple clients, with or without SEC installed. This connection type is convenient when you need to pass the data from or to your serial device. Operate with serial port device connected to real serial port on your local PC using some application which is installed on the target PC. Connect two applications installed on different PCs via LAN or Internet with the help of virtual serial ports. Connect to the remote device which supports Telnet RFC 2217 protocol and communicate with it as if it were connected locally. Work with serial port device on a virtual machine in case application which is supposed to communicate with the serial device does not support OS of the server PC. To install serial to Ethernet connector, go to Ultima.com and enter products page. Here, you'll be able to choose your OS. Note the Serial to Ethernet connector is available in Windows, Linux, and WinMobile versions. And download the demo. Then, click the executable file and follow the on-screen installation instructions. Now, launch the application. Before you start, you can get acquainted with useful tips in Welcome screen of the application. Let's launch Serial to Ethernet connector and see how to create serial port connection over network. Choose the connection type in the main screen of Serial to Ethernet Connector. It is Create Server Connection in this case. Now, several settings should be configured. Apply connection name. Create its virtual port. Set strict baud rate emulation. Specifies the local TCP port number which the server will listen to. Now you can customize advanced settings for this connection. General connection settings. Network protocol settings. Choose the data transmission protocol to be used in your connection. Signal lines. Customize COM port signal line behavior depending on the state of connection. Security settings. Authorization and traffic encryption customization. Finally, click Create Connection button in main window. Once the connection is successfully created, you can see your connection in Connections tree to the left and see the summary about it. Now let's create client connection at the remote end. To create a new client connection, choose Create Client Connection. Now, several settings should be configured. Connection name, local serial port, baud rate emulation, IP list, etc. Then you can customize advanced settings for this connection. Finally, click Create Connection button. Once connection was created successfully, you will see your connection in Connections tree to the left. Now you'll be able to see serial port connection created and the data sent from one serial port to another. To delete one of the connections, simply select it and click Delete. If it's necessary for your work, you can temporarily disable created connections without deleting them. Just click Turn Off SEC Temporarily in the main menu.